Love lovers, hey. So, Kamp was a chart, right? Is a merger between two charts. The chart, the birth chart of partner A and the chart of partner B, okay? So when we merge these two, we get a product, another chart. And this product or this new chart is called a composite chart. What does it represent? All right, so it represents um, the persona or the personality or the existence of this couple. So what does that mean? It means we see this couple as a person, okay? We no longer see them as partner A and partner B. We now see them as a couple, as one person, okay? So we need their chart. <laughs> we need this third person, which is the couple. We need the chart for this person, which is the couple. Then we go to the composite charts. Okay, fine. Now we're looking at this composite chart and we find that actually the ascendant is Leo, is rising in Leo. Okay. So when we have the Leo rising in the ascendant in a composite chart, what we usually can tell about this couple, the first thing really, is that you know this is the couple that will be going to all the new movies like to, to going to the cinemas to watch all the new releases of movies if um tom um cruise is releasing impossible non pote number then this couple is gonna make sure they buy the ticket first and they go watch okay so this is the couple that it will make a lot of outings regarding watching entertaining things entertaining activities they're gonna go watch to they're gonna go to the stadiums to watch um, uh, the world cup they're going to the stadium to watch um, soccer to watch cricket to watch anything all right they are into it they're gonna go out to the movies they're going to go out to the um, cinema uh, they're gonna go out to uh, to watch uh, a play at the theater so this is what we can tell the first thing that we can tell about this couple okay lots of outings related to entertainment okay and of course <laughs> and of course guys <laughs> this couple they like to take risks okay when it comes to when it comes to taking risks you can bet on this couple okay they're not scared all right if they say okay this is our opportunity let's go for it then they're gonna go for it okay and of course the they can be they can be a bit like childlike you know in terms of um in terms of being outgoing you know like they very like childlike like you can relate to them on that level they very hmm, outgoing very you know like a, yeah like a child basically if not then they are always surrounded by children like literally all the time okay if they are not the ones that are acting childlike like in a fun way all the time goofy and stuff then they are surrounded by children all the time okay so what what we also see about this couple is that they really value their health like there are couples that don't care about stuff like that when it comes to values like you, you ask them what do you value you know some people would say i value my my uh, love i value my family but for these people their health is very important they value their health they also they are also very good with managing their finances that's a given they are also um very good in terms of oh, or maybe they value let's rather use that word they value you know um they value uh, planning like putting plans into 
their actions okay and they're going to sit down they're going to plan step by step okay babe okay babe we're gonna do this okay babe are you with me yes okay we're gonna do this we're gonna do a and once we finish with a we're gonna do uh, b okay babe okay and then this is how much we're gonna need okay this is how much we're going to use okay babe yes so this is how you know the conversation would go like very planned very detailed and um, this also, as I said, they are aware or they value their health, okay? So that means even the food, even the food that they eat is going to be uh, planned for, okay? So it's going to mean, okay, babe, you know what? We're on, we're on the diet, so we can't eat... Um, we can't eat this food and this food we're gonna eat this food and this food we need to we need to look out of after ourselves babe so we can't um eat at this time or you know there could be some rules or some principles like this in this relationship okay and we can see that they are also it's like they're always trying to balance the relationships that they had with with uh, with their neighbors you know in their neighborhood they're always trying to balance this relationship always trying to appease you know the neighbors and also you know um you know try to be calm try to be diplomatic with their neighbors at all times so it's like a working progress like they work towards it with an awareness that it needs to be done okay so as when it comes to you know like their their short travels like let's say from one city to another city or within the city itself we can tell or we can see that most of the time they like comfort like they like to be comfortable and to some ex extent they if they have lots of cars they're gonna make sure that their cars are you know a bit modern a bit uh, classy <laughs> you know and um now when it comes to their home life like at the home together when they are together within the home oh my gosh guys like these guys like they keep secrets eh? like they keep secrets okay when it comes to their home they don't really talk much they don't talk much about uh, their plans towards their home or their property they don't talk much about like what goes on in the house with other people okay everything is like just within the house and it's like um, it's like between you and me babe okay we don't we don't have to discuss about uh, the issues that we have maybe that we need um, I don't know like um, i don't know maybe something is breaking within the home we don't have to tell everybody okay babe okay okay so it's, there's a lot of some uh, things that they keep to themselves when it comes to their home and their home improvements and their home plans and everything related to uh, their conveniences really okay and what we can see is that uh, one of the mothers like is in the mother-in-law right one of uh, uh, the partner's mother or both they could be people who are a bit intense okay so at least one mother-in-law is very intense at least one mother-in-law we can see that um, it could be I don't want to use the word clingy but could be really like uh, unable to let go of one of the partners so it's like they they would investigate about their relationship they would investigate and then maybe come to them and say why didn't you tell me this why didn't you tell me this you know okay mom we didn't want to tell you because you know da 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 we're just trying to keep things a secret we're just keeping things between me and my partner <laughs> okay now what we also see is that hmm, first of all the kids of this couple these are the kids that could be uh, into traveling you know so if they are 
not introduced by this couple in the early age we can see that these these kids will grow up in to to love traveling like they would love to explore to go out there and we can also see that um maybe you know one of the kids maybe if let's say for an example uh yeah maybe one of the kids could be of a different uh a different uh, religion different culture so it means that one of the kids could verge out of the belief system of the parents at some point you know so if um, this couple uh, they are muslims okay so maybe one of the kids could be like you know what me i would like to be a christian okay and of course these kids are, are intelligent as well we know that but their intelligence is not so it's not so enclosed like you know uh, they are very broad-minded, like open-minded. They're not afraid to to learn and learn and even explore some more. Okay. And at some point, these kids, the kids of this couple, will be uh, like um, like a, a motivational speaker to the parents. So at some point, the parents will go to the kids and be like okay my my child i'm planning to do this what do you think we should do we're planning to do this okay this is what could happen later on okay with the with the kids of this couple we can also see that the reason maybe these guys are so into their health okay is because um you know they just like to be routine based when it comes to their health they like to exercise if they are committed to it they will, then they will do it very hard if they're going to the gym they will go very hard like they put so much work towards these things and at some point or in some instances you know you could find out this couple is actually working within the health industry so maybe a nurse or some like there could be some work related to health when it comes to this couple okay either one partner or both partners you know uh, uh, like that and we can see that this couple could have met at work to be quite honest if we're looking at it they could have met at work and started their relationship like that or maybe some work project okay we can also see that they like to be a part of the community in general okay they like to be accepted by the community and they do not uh, criticize like they don't uh, reject other people within the society so they welcome one they welcome all okay and so when it comes to their uh, rapid activities within the couple we can say that you know they're a bit sensual really they are sensual regarding regarding this part of the relationship and you know it's so cute because they could also be a bit it could also be like a spiritual bondage when it comes to the rapid activities okay it's like they it's like they let themselves go they escape they use to some extent they use the rapid activity to even escape the daily problems of life like the daily changes and and they let the rabbit activity transform them you know like it's just a beautiful oh my gosh just a beautiful experience like their their love making is so beautiful and it's just something out of this world okay sensual uh, spiritual and stuff like that all right so what we can also see is that <laughs> one of the dads uh, of this couple could be very very um i would say strong opinionated in terms of their relationship okay and they yeah could be very like strong opinionated when it comes to his belief re relating to what he thinks this couple should do all right okay and then what we also know or what we we can also assume um about this couple is that you know what as i said like when we see them we just see them as like uh, that out, outgoing uh couple that's always attending something you know always going to um 
to see the latest movies coming out, to go to the sporting events, to go, you know, to go out and, you know, uh, having fun creatively. But, but within the community, they can also be known as a couple that likes, um, like a couple that has values, you know? Like they could have that respect within the society. Like people could talk about them and be like, yeah, you know, hmm. that couple has good values. You know, they have good principles. Look at how they, how their children are. Look at how they, um, are, they serve the community. Look at how they're involved uh, with each other. You know, they could have that thing, and people could look at them and 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 think, "Oh my gosh, yeah, they have a beautiful purpose in this life." You know, and actually, they could also have that that impact of being. Uh, I would say I, I wouldn't like people who are who, who likes to bring who like to bring tradition into what they do okay they like to have some tradition um uh happening when it comes to serving their relationship within the public eye that is okay and what we also see is that <laughs> oh they've got lovely fun outgoing young friends okay these are the people that are always surrounding them or they surround themselves with okay people who are just outgoing people who 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 don't mind you know just vibing and you know adapting to new things yeah. people who are talkative people who are networkers you know <laughs> this is basically they are a friendship circle they like to be uh, to have those type of friends because I mean who's going to bring the good news, you know, it's these bubbly friends these youthful friends. Yeah And we can also see that when it comes to their spending. Oh my gosh, like they spend um, Like it fluctuates sometimes they spend a lot of money on stuff and sometimes they spend less money So it's always fluctuating their losses are always fluctuating as well and that also means that even with even though they have that beautiful rapid activity happening the love making it also means sometimes it also fluctuates okay so it's not always the same or maybe all the time but there's some fluctuation happening so it could either be because of time or because of you know other responsibilities in life so guys yeah that was a uh, they are at San, and the Leo Ascendant in a combo the jar. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you.